Hey guys, TechX here, bringing you another PC build video. Now this build video will concentrate on a $350 HTPC. Now for those who, if you don't know what an HTPC is, it's essentially a home theater for your, you know, flat screen in the living room, bedroom, or the kitchen. Now this HTPC is not really aimed at gaming, but you can game at around 720p at low settings. And uh, this is more aimed at watching movies and browsing the web on the TV. For the CPU for this build, we'll go with the AMD A6 6400K. It has a dual core design, clocked at 3.9 GHz, has a TDP of 65 watts, FM2 socket, and we have the Radeon HD 8470D for the uh, built in graphics. We are going to use the built in graphics for this uh, build because saving money for so we won't buy a graphics card and all that for our $55 for the motherboard we're going with the MSI FM2 A78M E35 now this motherboard has an FM2 socket well compatible with our CPU uh, we also we also have three display outputs HDMI, DVI and VGA so HDMI is one of the obvious choice for building HTPC you have to have HDMI because most TVs right now support HDMI and that's most people are going with. Now it can supercharge your iPad, iPhone or other smartphones out there even when it's not turned on. As long as it's plugged in. We have USB 3, SATA 3 and a mini ATX design. So it's not one of those big boards. It's just Small board. Now for the RAM, we're going with 4 device and Crucible 6 port. Okay, we're going with 4 device because eh, it's cheap. Okay, we're going with a single 4 device stick of 1600 megahertz RAM. Now, there are sticks which are cheaper, clocked at 1333, but it's an APU. It runs better with a higher clock speed on the RAM. So we're going with 1600 megahertz and it's consumer grade RAM. Yeah. Now that for $35. Now for the hard drive, we're going with the Western Digital Caviar Blue. It has a 1 terabyte capacity and 7200 RPM. There's not a lot of things to say about this hard drive except it's really reliable. I have one myself in my build and I haven't had any problems or hiccups with it so we're going with that thing. Hard drive. And all that for $55. Now for the power supply, we have the EDJ 430 watt power supply. Has an ultra quiet fan, 120 mil fan at the bottom. Has 430 watts capacity and a three-year warranty. Now I know 430 watts is a bit overkill for this build, and it's, as it consumes less than that, but it's one of the only power supplies out there that's reliable and uh, cheap enough as well. So we're going with that, and don't worry about the extra power. You can always upgrade something in the long run. For the case, we're going with the HTPC case, which is a Silverstone ML03B. Now it's an HTPC, so it's kind. It kind of looks like a DVD player, so it kind of fits in in your living room or your bedroom. And uh, it supports an ATX PSU, so that PSU will fit snugly inside of that case. Now there are difficulties installing the PSU in the case. It's very tight, but if you're if you build something in the past that's tight, I think you can get it in. But if not, hey, get a module power supply. Which is a bit more expensive, but hey, what can, what can you do? Okay, last but not least is the Blu-ray drive. Now, people don't usually put drives in the optical drives in their builds because no one uses them anymore. But other people still use DVDs, Blu-rays in other countries, so we're going with that. And all that for $45. That makes it around $345, I think, $350, round right it up. And all the parts I mentioned will be in the description of this video. Now starting now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be um now starting now I'm gonna be getting all my part lists from Amazon because it's less hassle, I know it's more expensive, but if you think about it, hey, Amazon, one shopping cart, one price to pay. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my video on this HTPC.
Hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please leave a like and please do subscribe to my channel. It tells me out a lot. Feel free to message me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one.